always like to say, my crown is my crown for a reason. Athletes today uh, showing their strength by being brave and courageous. If I can be a guidance and we're going to do this together, then it makes me that. feel a little bit better. You got mistakes that's going to happen. It's like whatever you go through, bro, like you can still get there. There's definitely been a huge communication around mental health, kind of bringing that to the forefront on a lot of different topics and conversations being had with a lot of kids, adults, and people from all over. And I'm happy to have that conversation because um, I feel like if I can lend a helping hand, then I'm gonna do that. But it's something that I'm going through myself and still trying to navigate my own mental health journey. But if I can be a guidance and we're gonna do this together, then it makes me that. feel a little bit better. Back when I played many, many years ago, mental health and talking about it was looked at as a weakness. Absolutely. Yeah. But I think actually now athletes today uh, showing their strength by being brave and courageous, talking about it, sharing their struggles. Mm -hmm. uh, I think really inspiring people that it's okay to go and get help. Yeah. And so to see athletes in all sports step up to the plate, uh, share their struggles, uh, doing it on uh, the Olympic stage yes. brings awareness, not just in our country, but all over the world. It's a blue collar kid somewhere in Chicago that's yeah. like probably thinking yeah. he a bad kid because he do X, Y, and Z, or maybe yeah. he didn't and do this or that. And it's just like, bro, I was right there sitting right next where you was, wow. you know what I'm saying? I still got here. Like, so don't even make that yeah. an excuse in your yeah. mind. Don't doubt, don't yeah, doubt don't nothing. Don't doubt yourself. Yeah, don't doubt nothing. Even if you got small vices, you got things that's gonna happen. You got mistakes that's gonna happen. It's like, whatever you go through, bro, like, you can still get there. But Jordan, we hear that you've got an eye for fashion as well because you've got your own fashion line. Yes. Tell me all about yes. it, girl. Yes. Yes, I do have my own fashion line. It's called Melanin Clothing Co. It's all about just being out there, embracing your melanin, because you know, it's like, we, like I always like to say, my crown is my crown for a reason. And so that's why I incorporated into my own little fashion line that I have. I rap, um, but this music will probably be the first time I'm able to kind of tell the story without worrying about the backlash. Okay. Um, I think a lot of early on with me putting my music out, it was very calculated in the respects of I'm also representing this city mm -hmm. and this team, this organization within representing this city and this team, I'm also representing my teammates. African-American men are, are, are two times likely to be diagnosed with yeah. prostate cancer and two and a half times more likely to die from it. Historically, culturally, mm -hmm. black men, we don't like to go to the doctor. No. Yeah. We don't no. go unless there's something wrong. Yeah. And sometimes we won't even go when there is something yeah. wrong. We'll just kind of get through it. And yeah. you know, this is something if treated early and found early, uh, you can have a, a successful survivorship.